in Say What News. <laughs> submitted by Impatiently Waiting for Baby Buaw. <laughs> You don't know what that word is, you're not Biwa. Biwa. They're the bells. You don't have to feel embarrassed about that. That's just crazy. You're not the only one that happened to. That happened to Steve Green as well. Thank you. Bell. It's not like how you when you try to be cute, you will say bell. Oh, it's like bear without the Yeah, like bell. Okay. Like I'm scared. Can I say that again? No, no. No, that's perfect. Biwa. <laughs> Bill Cosby is planning to teach young people how to avoid sexual assort, assault charges. Shut the fuck. How to avoid Wait, what? The assault? What? Assault not charges. charges. So not the assault, the assault charges. How to get away what? with that rape. That, that cannot be real. So, Are you fucking kidding me? Like the, uh, when Mr. Juice tried to bring out a book about how, it, it was like, if I did it, this is what I would have done, type of shit. He was, he was gonna bring out a book and it got canceled. Well, that one kind of makes more sense, because at least that's like, Saying to people that I didn't do it, and but if I did, exactly. But with this, this is like uh, I did it. Let maybe, me tell you how to dodge. It. Maybe it's a comedic thing. He's like trying to fool people. No, uh, no, this is like straight up. He's gonna be touring township halls, and people want to watch this. He's been getting requests supposedly. It's just gonna be sexual assailants, like all. Well, that makes sense. I mean, if you if you sexually assault someone, you want to find out how to drop the charges. That's smart. So the police made him do this. Uh, it's not really his idea. So when he hosts these things, all his attendees are gonna get fucking arrested. Oh my God, that's mind blowing. I, I have to think that Bill Cosby is doing this for the right reasons, and he's doing so there's something in the. Back. No, cut it out. He's a piece of trash. Well, listen, listen. Like Joe would say, he's he's a garbage can. I know, but see, it's 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 a. Uh... I'm not saying he's a dope person, but I am gonna say this though. Just because he's a piece of fucking garbage that probably should die for the bad things he did, if he did do it, doesn't change the fact that he affected my life in a positive way. We're not talking about that right now though. I know, that's what I'm thinking. It's not if he did do it, he did. You know what? For all the posit positivity that he did do, like maybe one rape is okay. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! It's like the, the uh, what's it, Dave Chappelle special, did you see that? No. Yes. Oh, oh my god, it's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. It's talking about how like, um, it's a superhero that gains oh, superpowers yeah. by yeah. slapping like, vaginas. Oh. So technically he's raping all these people in order to turn to superhero, but in order to rape, I mean in order to save people, he has to rape people. Well he has to have so, sex with them, but of course they're not going to believe him, so then he ends up raping them. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. he saves more than he rapes. Yeah, that's, oh. that's what he said about Bill Cosby. Line. Yes. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that he affected my life in a very positive way. However, what I am saying is, is that's why I'm trying to hope that he's doing this to catch other rapists. Yeah, right. He's a piece of shit. Nobody is just oh, purely good or bad. Everyone's kind of fucked up and kind of Yeah, but like helping people avoid sexual assault charges is kind of like a different level of It just combat. sounds so fake. That's why I'm saying yeah, it does. It sounds yeah, if, like if they stopped it. before charges, it would make sense. Adding the charges is fucking crazy. That's what I was like reading it too, and I was like, assault is I mean charges on the different line. Is it maybe like separated by the point that I'm trying to make? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, so I feel like this is his thing. He's like, he's sticking to his not guilty, right? And then he goes, oh, and by the way, if you guys don't want to end up like me with all these false accusations, then let me tell you. All these 300 he, he was, false accusations. They already <laughs> concluded that he's not guilty? Uh, so they had a they had a mistrial because nobody they couldn't come to a conclusion. So he's gonna they petitioned to get another one. So they're gonna he's gonna go back to court. So within the next four months, they're gonna he's gonna go back to court. Well, so how can he even write this thing? Because he doesn't even know if he's technically avoided the charges. He's old as fuck. I think he's just senile at this point, man. Yeah. yeah. So his rep, he ended up saying, "Quote: This is bigger than Bill Cosby. This issue can affect any young person, especially young athletes of today, and they need to know what they're facing when they're hanging out and partying." when they're doing certain things that they shouldn't be doing. It also affects married men. Laws are changing and the statute of limitations for victims of sexual assault are being extended. So this is why people need to be educated on a brush against the shoulder. Anything at this point can be considered sexual assault. It's a good thing to be educated about the laws. I mean, I, I, I uh, kind of agree, but also at the same time, like it's pretty general. If you don't screw somebody, if they don't want to be screwed, I think it's because there's certain guys that are kind of fucking dumb, dumb when it comes to getting the point, and they're just like, 
they they kind of like overstep their boundaries with women and then you know but he's kind of like pushing off the blame like uh oh if i do this that's sexual assault yeah and so he's trying not. to teach them about the laws of like oh you know just prevent getting any charges against you if you accidentally like if they're talking about like if they're in a baseball game and you know, you have to like shimmy through the, the aisle or whatever you accidentally touch. Don't keep her hands in front of you in a circular motion when there's girls coming up. Circular motion? Yeah. <laughs> don't don't do this in a crowd, okay? Yeah. Don't walk through raves like this. Yeah. Don't do this Oops. either. So yeah, that's what we was gonna be saying at these free township meetings. But it's so like when I saw this headline, I was like, "Wait, what?" Oh like, my huh? God. It's it's like literally saying how to get away with rape. You know what sucks too? Like even looking at Bill Cosby, he looks and he speaks now. He looks like he's like deranged. Like he has a little bit of dementia. Like he's he's kind of lost it a little bit. Ugh, makes me a little sad. I feel like. But he's a rapist, so I don't know how to feel about he it. He did it <laughs> because we heard of people that knew him in the long time ago that was assaulted by him. But that's all hearsay still, I don't know. There's so many victims, like shit ton of victims. Or, but yeah. then sometimes like when you hear this stuff, then everyone just wants to jump on it oh, like, okay. oh, oh me too, me too, I got raped by him, yeah. He fucking crawled through this TV and fucked me in the butthole, yeah dude. That's true, because when, <laughs> when, Ty when Tiger Woods, remember, when he, got, when he was fucking all those hookers and all these women started popping up, I put yeah. my name in that too. I didn't get it, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> You know, for a half second, I was like... <laughs> yeah, I was like... They would show the lineup of women in my face with at the end. <laughs> he called me his little dumpling. <laughs> he tried to fuck me in the ass. Uh, well, but the thing that's different too is like, these guys had at least proof, you know? Like, well, not proof, but like, witnesses and stuff. It's, I don't know, it's stuff like that. Like, it does, it is kind of like, you never really know what's going on. But if other people also saw it as well, then maybe they're not off base, you know? Don't the, isn't this like the job for agents? Like when you become like a pro athlete or you land your big movie, like your agent will tell you, hey, when you go to these parties, there's gonna be girls that are trying to, or your managers are trying to get impregnated by you, like be careful, like these are the things that you should be doing and not do. I know, but guys are dumb. <gasps> Excuse stuff. me. And you just called it uh, pussy power. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> throwing themselves yeah. at you saying like, <gasps> Here's my house key, come over. Guys are like <laughs> Oh, call Polly. Wait, how, wait how, how hot would the girl be though? <laughs> <laughs> I love how you were like, no! Wait a second. Um. Yeah, because sometimes if a girl just kind of just, oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing. And I was Some like, of these girls are <laughs> hot, dude. Yeah. They know yeah. what they're doing. But I look at them and say, girl. you probably got AIDS. Ooh, how many celebrities defense. have you fucked? You, you're really that strong? Yeah. I only fuck the ones that are ugly. <laughs> that came out of left field for me. I was like, I know. I'm sure the ugly ones are there too. No, just kidding. Okay, that stuff. Is <laughs> okay. Okay. Why you think? Why you think I got a girlfriend? I ain't trying to get AIDS. Shit, you guys crazy. But you gotta keep in mind these are pros. These girls do this shit for a living. They, oh, they're you're traveling. You're getting constant pussy thrown at. Like, like I think who said that shit? No. Eddie Murphy says you have so much pussy that you keep pussy in your pocket. And it's just like overflowing, and it but. just falls on the floor. And you're like, that's my pussy. <laughs> Here's the difference. Yeah. They're never gonna jack me off harder than I do, ever. Yeah, but they have a pussy, something you don't. Yeah, but I have a girlfriend. He's so protected. He has a girlfriend. Yep. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm gonna fucking nut before I go on the show. It's all good. You know what, they, someone actually said that as, oh sorry, go ahead. They, they, sh they should just like, oh, I'm gonna create this invention. It's for pro basketball players. So after a game and whatever, whatnot, they have to go to the hotel and then it straps them in <laughs> until the morning at 7 a.m. Oh, that's the masturbation thing. They have that for Oh yeah. Kids. yeah. They have like a fucking cross where they gotta sleep like this so they don't Oh, get... see, perfect. They can yeah. just give it to them too. Like, I wanna fuck these bitches, but I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> well, wouldn't you just wanna do it more once you're out? You're like, ah, I got like five minutes. Yeah, but it's during the daytime now, so everybody sees you. That's true. I don't want And AIDS. those bitches are asleep. They don't last during the day. Ah. But mine will be this. It's the crucifix, right? Ah, but there's a motorized pocket pussy that jacks them oh. up. Oh, okay. So them Solution. Really oh, I would break out of this, but my strength is gone. <laughs> <laughs> my strength is gone. No, what I was saying is that there was like some, I forgot what quote that's from, but like, it said, uh, before doing something bad, masturbate. Because like, apparently, I don't know, it's just one of those. For guys? Yeah. Oh. That's, yeah, that's true. true. Before, I think I just calmed you down. If you want to steal something, just jack off and you're like, yeah, you know, I don't really feel like stealing anymore. <laughs> If you want to go fuck someone up and like, ah, uh, 
Fuck it, I don't care. I'm pretty sure if you masturbate too, like guys, if ladies, if you don't know, after we masturbate, we're fucking geniuses. Our IQ. small window is sleepy very geniuses. Small yeah. window. Our IQ goes up. It's like I E equals IQ. MC squared. Yeah. How do you think fucking <laughs> Just Kidding film started? <laughs> it was after masturbation, and Joe's like, yeah. Ah, Just Kidding game. Yeah. I know. How did that work? Huh? They masturbate. No, because that's when you double Dutch rudder. I know, so it's but not... they both created it. So how they both come? Up they both jacked off in separate rooms in the same house. <laughs> oh, you they both came out at the same <laughs> time. <laughs> they jacked off at the same time and they heard each other scream. Just kidding, fam! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they knocked out. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> you told them the story, huh? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Ah, masturbate. When you come, it's I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Do you think that's why Cosby had to do all that shit? He had to just clear his mind? I heard that back in those days, celebrities were untouchable and there was no social media, there was no things like that, there was no whistle blowing, and Hollywood was a place of very, very, very dark times. A lot so what that tells me is that super celebrities and all that stuff can get away with a lot of bad things because you know, these guys are making so much fucking money for the studios. They're gonna keep them protected. I wouldn't be surprised if they're like, hey, how many did you rape today, Bill? It's like, I just had three. Three? You sure you don't want four? We'll get you a person you can rape. I got the one and then the two and the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. I don't know. I'm just I'm just making stories up, but well, I'm just yeah, like, I mean, it's you're true. sure about those child actors too that they're they got big, big uh, names yeah. like that they're protected by the industry. But now it might be different. Well, I mean, who knows? Cuz even like Justin Bieber, who knows like in like 20 years how many girls will come out and be like, "He raped me." Or he maybe he got raped cuz he started up extra young. Yeah. I would not. And maybe that's what led to him. Yup, Amanda yeah. Bynes raped Justin Bieber. I called it. Yeah, he was reversed. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda Bynes? Dude. Yeah. I don't like dominatrix, but sometimes the reverse gangbangs, I'm just like, woo! What's a reverse gang? Bang? When it's all girls and one guy, <laughs> and she, they're gangbanging him. <laughs> no, please, no! Yeah. Hello everybody! If you like the video, make sure that you guys leave us a thumbs up because if not, I'm gonna find you where you live and I'm gonna hug the shit out of you whether you like it or not. Other than that, you know, there's like more videos out there, bro.